I, Mr. Charlie Murray, and it's time to pay my debts on the Smuggler and the Blind, episode 25? Is that 25? Yes! This episode, we're going to pay my debts, we're traveling to Balmora, and then we're also going to travel to Tatooine, so it's a big episode, and then next episode we'll head to Corellia, and episode 27 will be the finale! Ah, oh, no! And then 28, if I have a pack, then... Fibbity, fibbity, flabby, wimey. You have fun with that. The boss, thank you, outsider. Oh wow, that was the most pointless conversation ever! Alright, let's head to Coruscant first, because... I might as well go to Coruscant, and then... Actually, do you know if Ah! Yeah! Let's do it like this! And the reason why I say go to Coruscant first is because Balmora... We need to go to Balmora anyway, for Corso Riggs. So, we might as well leave that for last. I mean, at least the Voss were being slightly nice about their mission as well. It's actually outside of the, uh... The spaceport. That was the word I was looking for. Couldn't think of the word then. Hello, 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 hello. You enjoying the view? I held up my end of the deal. You bring yourself honor, outsider. Do I? Oh, cool. It's good to know. Anyway, bow more now. Tell you what. I'm feeling incredibly tired and incredibly hot. For some reason, my face just feels boiling hot. I think I'm coming down with something, which isn't great. I, I, I mean, sure, I don't have work till next week, but I'd really not like to spend these next five days just ill. Every time I see you return from a mission, I thank the maker I wasn't designed for combat. I curse the maker that you're still alive. Oh, I see how it is. Well, I'm going across the galaxy, delivering packages. You're here in the cantina slacking. Thanks for the business. May your future be clear, outsider. I mean, am I technically an outsider if you're on a different planet? And so am I. I mean, I'm an outsider to your world, but to this world, you're also an outsider. Just gonna point that out. Give me my level 50! Loki? Why are you calling me? The last package was received. You are free of obligation. Woo! Thank you. I would have been relegated to hard labor for my crimes. Alright. And... Level 50. What?! Oh, you're joking! How close am I? 3,000... Oh, my God! We need to be here anyway. We need to go over there. Right. Let's do that then. You know what? I can't wait to be level 50. I'm just going to kill all of you. And then I'll get my level 50. Thanks. Come on. Nope. Not yet. Wait. Am I getting no experience? I, I should be getting. I was going to say. I should be getting experience from you all. That's the way it works. Come on. Give me a level 50. Give me level 50! Actually, no, I'm not getting any... What? I'm not getting any experience from killing these. Okay, Bioware. What was the point in doing... A, 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 the, the level thing, where we're the same level when we reach the planet. We're, we're, the le we're the right level for the planet. But we gain no experience from it. I said a thing where you give us the same level. I don't know what they call it. I completely forgot. Told you. I feel like I'm going ill right now. My mind's not thinking straight. Oh, I see. I'm to go over here, am I? Oh, well, that's just perfect. No. No. I hate you. Oh, my God. And the latency really isn't helping either. Come on, server lag. Stop doing this to me. Play ball. Pretty sure, you won't die. Pretty sure I will die if the latency doesn't hold up again. Alright, sadly, we need to get Corsa Later. out. Bye, Gus. Bye-bye. Uh, that was better than you turned up. Ah! Now I'll probably be able to get the experience I need. Please do. Give me level 50 now. Yeah! Dark versus light smuggler complete. And, of course, I get no pack because, um, well, why would I? Why would I? Oh, wait, of course. Can't stealth past any of you. Can I? Because I'm a gunslinger. 
And I know somebody mentioned in the comments in the last episode, well, you should have gone for Gunslinger. Well, sadly, this is what people voted for. So I had to. Plus, let, might as well get this one out of the way. Might as well get the male version out of the way, with, which is a Gunslinger. Because then when I do the Smuggler again, if I ever decide to, then that will be a female. And that will be a Stealther. So I don't need to worry then. Sorry, you were meant to go over there. I don't think that is over there. But whatever. Oh no, you'll go over there. You fine. All right. I see how you. I see how you work. Yeah. Ha ha. You fell over. You fell over. Although actually, saying that, yeah, sure, I got the achievement for the dark versus light event. But this is my first smuggler that's level fifty. So surely I should have got the achievement for that. Uh, level fifty. Uh. Oh, I did. I got okay. Um. Oh, and I got that as well. Oh, I got four achievements. Wow, okay. Oh, I'm on the second bar now. I've completed the second bar. I'm on the third bar. Hooray! Yay! Sweet. What am I doing? Oh, no. The server's crashed again. Let's just wait for that. And it's back again. Cool. God, Joe had neck twists weirdly. Defeat the Imperial officer and the soldiers. Alright, can I... I was going to say, can I just do it with Hiromo? I'm going to do it with Hiromo because... Why not? I sound drunk right now. I'm really not. Again, I'm just ill. Stop interrupting me! Alright, obtain the codes from the terminal. Well, I thought I was doing that to begin with. Magar! Magar! Answer me! We've been waiting for you all clear. Are you there? Blasted Imperials? Blasted Who's Imperials? That? Why would she be calling an Imperial soldier? If they killed you, Magar. Uh, I've already sworn to hunt down every puss ridden Emperor lover on this planet. Hello? You're not my husband. Why are you answering his comm? We just fought a group of Imperial soldiers. One of them was wearing this comm. Imperial? Oh, for the love of... Magar, you're too clever for your own good, you old rascal. I'm Dan Lazine, proud Balmoran and member of the Resistance Against the Empire. My husband Magar stole an Imperial uniform. He and some friends were trying to get weapons to help us retake our town. Stole a uniform? They weren't really Imperials? Uh-oh. Free Balmorans, everyone. Did... Did anyone survive? Uh-oh! They died in the line of duty. I I'm really sorry, ma'am. I wish there were better words for it. Is there any way we can make it up to you? You were gonna think I'm a cold-hearted old battle axe. But I've lost my sons. My parents. That's no stranger here. What we really need are those guns. Magor risked his life to get them. I hate to think he died for nothing. We owe you that much. Ma'am, we'll bring you the guns your husband was after. Or die trying. I hope it won't come to that. Bring me the guns, and I'll pay fair price for the lot of them. We're in hiding behind Imperial lines. Magar's comms got the coordinates. Because of course they do. What weapons? These weapons. Alright, and where are we going? We still on by tomorrow. Yeah, we're not going anywhere else. Off world. Deliver to you there. Sweet. Okay, let's do it. Now, I need to jump down here, so I'm gonna just slide down the mountain with a cold. You can tell. I have a cold right now. Delicious. This place seems familiar. I swear I've been in this place before on a different character. Huh. Ah, hello. So, you're the ones who killed my Magar. You look younger in person. Oh, I well, thank you. It can't have been easy to get these guns here. Thank you. Now, what do I owe you? It was very Donna, easy. Darling, I just heard the terrible news. It's a tough time for a woman to be alone out here. But don't worry. I won't let anyone take advantage of that. I'm sorry. I was talking with the lady. I'm with Tat. This is my town. And those are my guns you're returning. From my men you killed. Our debt is to the lady. Aren't you too sweet? But this is my army, not Dan Lazin's. Whatever she's offering for those munitions, I'll double it. 
That depends. One, two, or three. Let's go for two. Pleasure doing business with you, sir. <laughs> how can you do that? Can't you see how he's looking at her? Your boy's out of line, Captain. Better have a word with him. Now, here's your credits. If you'll excuse me, I think I'll be needed to comfort the new widow. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, I was talking to the lady. Yeah, sure, I'll give you the guns. Beautiful. Anyway, let's go to Tatooine now. Actually, before we go to Tatooine, let's do a round with all the companions. Then we'll go to Tatooine, and then once we finish on Tatooine, we'll just talk and talk and talk to the companions until the end of the episode. I don't know how you live with yourself. I'm using my own credits to get Dan Lazine a flight off Balmora and away from that pig. What's the point in having money if you don't use it to help people? Um, if you want to know how I live with myself, I don't know, I just do it. I didn't realize it meant so much to you. Because of us, Dan Lazine lost her husband. Then you basically sold her to a guy who was drooling over her like a plate of sweetweed. Lord Mantell's sending us their thanks for the disarm codes. But that poor woman's life is over. Yeah, well, things happen, don't they? See, oi, Wookie! I have learned from fighting with you. Cool. You stay cool. Let your enemies batter themselves against you. Watching you helps me direct my rage. It should serve me, not drive me. I mean, to be fair, you haven't really battled with me that much. My fighting style pretty much comes down to. I really don't like pain. I do not mind pain. But it is wise to fight with the mind and not just the hand. Okay. That was a pointless conversation. Thanks for that, Baldar. Enjoyed every second of that. Uh, Gus! They should make every Jedi kid spend time in a war zone. When you see what real Sith are like, it makes my blood run cold. And don't make any fish jokes there. I'm serious. It makes you see why the Jedi make such a big deal about not giving in to the dark side. Thinking about going back? I am. But right now, I'm in your crew, and I can't ask for anything better. But Master Lauren was right. The road to the dark side starts with things we all feel. Jealousy. Greed. They're all the seeds of it. I'd rather spend the rest of my life meditating on a cold rock than turn into that. Why don't you go do that, then? Sounds like fun. Risha! 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 No! I can't be smart! I have learned more about the scum who betrayed my clan. Tiari Rook claims he has earned the title Mandalorian. But I heard nothing of him passing the trials of strength and courage required to join a clan. Sell your services as a Mandalorian without the whole honor and loyalty thing? Why didn't I think of that? Because any true Mandalorian would be honor bound to kill you. I have called myself Mandalorian since I left my mother's side at age three to begin training. Three? It's not easy to put that behind me. You want to go back? Live as a Mandalorian again? My father's training will always be part of me. I had a jetpack and blaster before I ever had a friend. Keba Jirir, Gara Day. Jagisha Day. Kotla Adalisha Day. Kotla Shaya. Train your sons to be strong, but your daughters to be stronger. Yada 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 Mandalorian stuff that I don't give a crap about. Risha, kiss me. That sounds sexual, I'm sorry. Guess who found a potential accomplice in the Debrillian aristocracy? Feast your eyes on this hollow embossed genuine flimsoplast invitation. See that fancy Arabesh lettering? Hand drawn, in ink, classy. Count Merritt Rinald requests the favor of your presence at a discreet location in the Galactic Senate Tower on Coruscant, at a time of your choosing. Psh, amateurs. Like we'd ever fall for something like that. Nobody puts this much effort into a trap. Look at all the embossing. That took sincerity. Count Rinald is one of the most popular nobles on Dubrillion. He's also secretly organizing a rebellion against the King. His invitation is addressed to Risha Drayan, royal heir to the Drayan dynasty. He's taking me very seriously. I didn't think you were broadcasting your true identity. I had no choice. Risha from Nar Shaddaa, 
doesn't carry the same weight as Risha the future queen. I'm contacting him by Hollow to arrange our meeting. Wanted you here to help me get a read on him. Opening a channel. Whoa. This is a tremendous moment, your royal heiress. I grew up hearing tales of Lovely the Trey dynasty. The great battles your ancestors fought. I never believed I'd meet a member of that proud bloodline in person. You have my deepest sympathies for your family's exile. We don't have all day. Stop sucking up and get to the point. You must be the starship captain who recovered the crown of Debrillion. My world is in your debt. I'll take your world, please. that crown and my head. He won't be happy if he finds out we're talking. The man has lost all reason. He must be removed from power, but in a way that spares our world a bloody civil war. Again, lovely view. I believe the common people and aristocracy alike would embrace the Draen dynasty heir, especially if she wears the crown of Dobrillion. I doubt your current ruler will abdicate just because Risha has a better hat. The king's power base is already unstable. It will crumble under the right pressure. Right now, you are an outsider. The only way to change that is to marry someone from the existing aristocracy. Get married? To who? Well, <clears throat> the only available suitor is... Oh! Okay! Cliffhanger! Thanks, game! Get married? To who? Well, <clears throat> Love you again. the only available suitor is... <sighs> Great stars, this is awkward. I am offering myself in marriage to you. Dun dun dun! Risha already has a man in her life. Forgive me, I should have realized. Have you two joined? Uh, not exactly. No. Please understand, I do not desire to come between you. That said, the final choice should be yours. I understand my proposal is abrupt, but I wished to make my intentions clear and not waste your valuable time. I certainly don't expect an immediate response. All I ask is that you consider this for the good of the brilliant. That'll be easier to do once we've met in person. I'm on my way to Coruscant. See you there, Count. Well, that wasn't awkward at all. Risha, let's just run away together and never turn back! That was the worst blind date ever. You've known this guy all of two minutes and he proposes marriage? Crazy. This isn't romance, it's just politics. Under the circumstances, I should probably take this meeting alone. Be back soon, Captain. Never talked to a complete stranger for that long before. Count Renald gives to charities, builds orphanages, creates wildlife preserves, and those are just his hobbies. You ever consider we've been wasting our lives? I knew it. He pulled every smooth maneuver in the flight manual. That's the thing. He wasn't smooth. He was actually kind of awkward. Stop being so paranoid. I told the Count I needed time to think about his proposal. That'll give me a chance to run a deep background check. If this guy is as good as he seems, he just might help me overthrow the King without getting married. Well... That's the case, because I want to marry you, Risha! Anyway, let's actually head to Tatooine now. For the butcher mission. Sorry, mate. Um, can can you explain why you're going faster than me? Because, I mean, I'm a higher level than you, right? By three levels. Yet for some reason, you're going faster than me in your mount than I am. How 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 is that possible? Because I have 110 percent, and that's the highest you can go. So, did somebody get shot. Oh, a shopkeeper got shot. Cool. Knock, knock, knock. Anybody home? Well, that's a medical droid, so that's Stand good. I mean, I'll sell this junk. Um, because something tells me this isn't a little hut. Let's go find out. Uh, nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. <gasps> Is this it? Boom! I'm fighting you, Rogan! Oh! It's happened again! So, Shadow Player decided to go blah 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 
in the last 10 minutes and uh, didn't properly record everything and it's gone a bit funny I don't know why um, so yeah lost the last 10 minutes of footage but I can tell you what happened so and I can show you in images as well because I can take snip I can take snapshots of the footage I recorded but that's it that is it Dharma's Polaran and Senator Dodona were actually working for the Void Wolf. Ooh. So the hollow recording shows whether or not they, they really are. That's just apparently what it shows. Um, and the Void Wolf sent two Sith to come and attack me and uh, Rogan the Butcher. And uh, Rogan decided to team up with me. And he was all like, yes, you saved my life. Hooray, hooray, hooray. Uh, we're now kind of a team. Void Wolf's tricked us both before. Yes. So I need to now head to Corellia because that is where her fl where her where his flagship is. So let's head to Corellia. No, we're not doing that this episode. We're going back to my ship to talk to companions. Unless that buggers up. Right, so let's talk to our companions for as much as that we can and then we will leave it here. Count Renald is a man of his word. He sends me daily updates about his rebellion's progress. Incredibly sweet, beautifully written updates. I knew taking to Brilliant's throne would be a challenge, but this is getting complicated. I'm not falling for him, but I might have to take this marriage proposal seriously. It's smart politics. If you think I'm letting some wealthy pretty boy come between us, guess again. Don't you get it? My whole future will be spent with wealthy pretty people. When I am queen, my days of racing the hyperlanes are over. Can you honestly see yourself settling down onto Brilliant? Yeah. I'll stop bothering you. I needed to talk, and you're the only person who understands me. Me listening to you babble doesn't mean I comprehend any of it. It's still better than talking to a bulkhead. Or Corso. I'm sure there's trouble somewhere with our name on it. What do you say we go take all its credits? I mean, we can do. I'll get to level 51, thank you very much. And then we'll talk to Spa. I do not presume to question your choice of crewmates, but I am curious. Why allow yourself to be surrounded by the weak? Oh, you mean you? Only the Wookiee displays any strength of character. He understands honor. The rest are petty criminals. Petty criminals are easier to manage. When they start complaining, just throw some credits at them. And what happens when they demand more than you're willing to pay? One thing a Mandalorian never has to question is a clan mate's honor. I could always count on the strength of my fellow warriors. I always sleep lightly aboard your ship. Yeah, I'm well aware. Well aware, but I really hate Spa. Spa just... She's such a dull character. Oh, I don't need to speak to Gus. No, no way. I'm not being bait. Not this time. Alright, it's like you knew what I was trying to do. Alright then. Wookie, you don't need to speak either. Uh, but apparently, neither does Corso. Okay, so it's just Risha. Wow. Okay, let's go to Risha then. Risha, nobody else wants to talk to me. I can't hold off Count Reneld forever. I have to answer his marriage proposal someday. But I want to make an informed decision. I was hoping you could help me out with that. In private. I have a lot to say on the subject. I recommend we lock your door, so our conversation isn't disturbed. <laughs> you think of everything. That was a very persuasive argument. Well, who's it gonna be, Risha? The Count or me? I should examine your argument in more detail. Can we run through it again? Okay. <laughs> you know, crowns and thrones aren't that great. I could maybe live without them. Or you could trade in this starship for a palace. What do you think? I find it odd how Risha was all like, let's let's go to the room and have an argument. So assume that they had sex. Then they got dressed again. And then she's all like, I'll start to do your uh, argument again. Let's go. So uh, are we assuming they got undressed again? They just got dressed. Um... Is there three option? I don't know. I don't want to press three. I'm worried that I'm going to ruin everything. I, I... You're the only treasure I need. 
Everything else pales in comparison. I'm not done talking to you. No, I didn't think you were. Well, that was an enlightening discussion. What did they have? I think I'm gonna have to disappoint the Count. Did they have sex at first? That time? I need some rest. Let's talk again later. Well, yeah, after three bits of sex, I imagine you do need some rest. Jesus Christ, Risha! And how low? You too, how low? Yeah. Yeah. So, anyway, we'll leave it here for now. Next episode, we need to head to Corellia. Damn bloody shadow play always breaking because that's the way it is. We can do Macap now! Hooray! Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, anyway, thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen, and I shall see you next time. Any farewell to you.